Hi guys, Liz here. Happy Monday to you. Well, today it is another rainy, dreary day here in Northern Virginia. And I thought, my goodness, again, rain? Really, Mother Nature? But I will say it's the perfect day, hi honey, to pull out some warmer shirts. Um, so I'm loving that. But before I get into what I'm kind of trouble I'm getting into today, I did get a lot of comments on Friday about where did I get my shirt because uh, a lot of people like the fall colors. You guys ready? I know I don't want to hear it. Walmart. Yep, good old Walmart. I actually got four different shirts, and <clears throat> I think they all look pretty fallish, but what I like about them is I like the big cuffs. And I like the fact I like shirts that cover my tummy, just saying. And um, this one does. So let me show you what it looks like in case you guys want to see what it looks like. I'm going to take a few steps back. So this is what I'm sporting today. I've got my shirt and it's got some cute little tassels right here. It's got the thicker cuffs with a little slit on them. And I've got some heels. But I feel like I'm wearing a paint smock because I'm going to do some painting today. And no, I'm not painting the shelves I just got on Saturday. This is something entirely different. So let me set the stage for you. Do any of you guys have an old rustic window? Something that may be lying around the house, in the garage, in the basement, in an old, a shed, in the attic? Pull it out. Pull it out because it can be a staple piece in your seasonal decor. And I'm going to show you now, how. Now, the old window I'm about to show you, it was purchased at an antique store for, gosh, what did I get it for? I think it was between $35 and $45. It's a larger window. I've gotten other windows for $25. You can pretty much get them at any antique store for $25 and under. If you get a larger one, you go up in price. Um, but anyway, I like this one, and I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag because I want you to watch and see what I do with it. All right, all right. Let's get into the video. Let's but go. But before we do, let's just say I'm about to channel my inner child. So if you want to channel your inner child, stick with me and see how this plays out. Here you can see I've got my glass window ready to be painted. I have my supplies, all my different colored paints, some paper plates, and some various size brushes. I'm trying to paint my first pumpkin. So I'm just filling in. And this paint seems to dry pretty fast, so that's kind of a good thing. So I have pumpkin number one finished, and I'm gonna let that dry, and then I can add in different colors and do different shading and add some green and the stem to it. So now I'm gonna go do my next pumpkin. So now I'm going in with a darker orange. That's the one I first used. Now I'm going in with this one. It's got a little more red to it.
there's pumpkin number two. Now remember y'all, pumpkins aren't perfect. They're imperfect. So that's why mine look like that. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add uh, one more right there because I like to do things in threes. And then I'll let it dry and add my stems and some leaves and paint probably happy fall y'all. I'm still thinking what I wanna paint up top. But I think this is an adorable idea. What do y'all think? Now I'm gonna do a white pumpkin. I have to say it's pretty fun painting on glass. So now it's just the waiting game, waiting for this stuff to dry. And then I can go in with more colors. But you can tell it looks like it's gonna be cute. Again, I'm no artist. Now to do my stem color, I'm using these two different colors. And then I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush and hopefully that'll do the trick. Now I've just added a few little squiggles. Now I'm gonna do this one. Now I'm going in with some green and some gray. So now I'm going in with my gray and then I'm gonna add the green because I want a softer, more subtle green. Oops, sorry I didn't have the camera in the right spot.
I'm adding some green. So then I've added a little squiggly thing and some leaves. I think it looks pretty cute. And that's the great thing about art. You can make it just the way you want it and like it, and it's artistic to you. So I think this has turned out really, really cute. I put grass below the pumpkins, and then up here, I think I'm gonna write happy fall y'all. And that will complete this window. Well, here's my little window all painted and decorated for fall and at the top it says happy fall y'all so all in all I think it turned out for an amateur like myself felt like I was back in kindergarten it was kind of fun so I hope you guys like it and uh, stay tuned for more fall decorating so seriously how cute is this Love it. So cute. So, so cute. Don't know where I'm going to put it yet, guys, but uh, let's just say I've got lots of wall space to cover. So I think it's going to find its way to the basement above a table. Stay, stay tuned. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And, you know, don't be afraid to try new things. I, like I said, I'm no artist, but. I had fun painting, it brought, it brought back lots of childhood memories, and although I know I could have done better if I had taken my time, guys, I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't even use my laptop to film that, so I was literally holding my camera and painting with the other hand. So had I been smart and used my laptop and just propped it up on the table, I probably would have had perhaps a better look but I'm happy with how it turned out it's cute it's whimsical it's fun for fall and it gets the point across happy fall y'all so thanks for stopping by love you guys lots and um, oh by the way guys I want you to know something if I am not able to respond to your comments and I give you a heart please know I love you I read it I thank you so much but um I'm, I'm such a busy mom and I'm running around all the time and I can't always respond to everybody. As much as I'd love to, I can't. So please don't take offense to it if I don't, but just know I love your guys' comments and I love you stopping by to see me and I'll see you in the next one. Ah.